To God be the glory. I bless each and every one of you and I love you so, so very much in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes separation happens. Yes, especially in marriages and things like that. And the reason why separation happens is because the father is wanting to deal with the roots of the situation that allowed this separation in the first place. You know, a lot of us, you know, we get all acquainted with spouses, especially we're talking on the line of marriages now, you know, because spouses can begin to blame each other. You are at fault. I'm at fault. You are the reason for this. I'm the reason for that. And all of those things. But they don't do a self-check among themselves. So what happens before that in itself is brought to ruin completely? The father can decide to separate it. And for some people, when they don't understand what God is doing, they can be so quick to begin to what? To file for divorce, where the father was only trying to institute a separation to bring healing. So you can begin to understand that people either learn early or they learn when it's too late. And the reason why I said they learn early or they learn too late is when they blame people and don't realize that they are the ones. And eventually, they reflect on the situation and they realize they could have done something better. Now, I want us to understand there is a, lot, there is a part that I really want to share concerning this. You know, there are a lot of people you know, that's why I believe sometimes when God brings people into my presence, one of the things I show mercy for majority of the time are people who put their marriages, they vlog their marriages, they blog their marriages, they basically, you know, they blog their marriages on YouTube and things like that. What do I mean by blogging your marriage? Basically, everything you're doing in your home, some of the things you're doing in your house, this is how we do things here, you know, all this challenge, that challenge, this challenge, you know, you're putting it out for everybody to see your business right out there all in the name of challenge all in the name of maybe you want views all in the name of you know maybe you want you know you want subscribers and all of those things not realizing that there is a spiritual element to all of these things yeah there is a spiritual element to it because you know whatever is happening in your marriage or whatever is happening behind the scene you should keep that in itself not to put it for everybody to see you know everything that is happening in your home because sometimes you don't know who is watching because you're releasing these things to the world but you don't know who is watching yes so for that reason you can see why a whole lot of celebrities, yeah, they try so much as possible to keep every part of their union, to keep it a secret among themselves. And when things begin to go out in public, it's because maybe somebody close to them decided to release it. Oh, yeah, they're about to get divorced. Oh, they're having challenges in their union. Oh, all of these things. Then eventually it comes out into creation and then people begin to speak against these things. Jesus told us, he said, our words, they are what? They are spirit and they are lies. So if you have to understand their spirit, yes, our words, they are spirit and it is life. So you have to understand what are people speaking when they see your marriage all over YouTube, when they see it all over Instagram, when they see it all over TikTok, when they see it all over all of these places. Because what is happening is, as somebody is probably going somewhere, getting updates about your what? About your marital life. Then renewing, taking things about you, going to one shrine or the other, one coven or the other, and eventually to bring about separation in the lives of people. Yes? So you might be there. Oh, I am praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will happen to my YouTube. Nothing will happen to my marriage. Nothing will happen to my family. Nothing will happen to my children. But you are putting all of those things out for the people to see. I know sometimes we have to be what? We have to show ourselves as what? Yeah, you know, let people know, you know, I I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. You know, sometimes that is needed. But majority of the time, when that is needed, you can share that on a one-on-one -on -one personal note. Not bringing the whole family, the children, and all of those things. And begin to blog your lifestyle right on the what? On pages. 
it's very dangerous because just in the same way you're trying to keep your union together, somebody who is watching is trying to divide that union out of jealousy, out of envy, out of strife, out of all of these things because they just hate the way your family is united. They hate how your children look happy. They hate how you're basically thriving in what you're doing. So you're giving them updates and for that reason, they are basically being updating, you know, they're updating their strength and their incantations and their sorceries and all of those things. So before you know it, destruction is manifesting. So you're wondering, why did it fall apart? It fell apart because you put those things out there. Do you see that? You're showing everybody what is happening inside of your home. The Bible says in Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Your home can sometimes be a secret place, but you've put it out to the public for everybody to see. Your marriage can be a secret place, but you've put it out for the public to see. Your children can be a secret place, but you've put it out for the public to see. Do you see that? So for that reason, look at the attacks that keeps coming. Now you can see your wife, your husband is, is basically not wanting to what? Not wanting to be around you anymore more and you're saying no it's my husband it's his behavior no it's because you put it out for the world and somebody who is probably admiring your husband who loves your husband has gone to a shrine i want what that woman has and begin to and then they begin to manifest all diabolical means perhaps it's a woman oh this man look at how he's basically doing everything with his wife oh you know i want that man i want a marriage like his i want a, i want you know i want a marriage like hers i want a this like this and then they begin to do all manner of things and they begin to manifest that and you're wondering why the challenges does exist because society that we're in nowadays, we seem to celebrate everything, not realizing that some things that we are celebrating can actually be very dangerous. Do you see that? Because it can be very, and as much as social media is beautiful, it can be a dangerous ground too. So you have to walk in the wisdom of the Lord, knowing exactly what to share and what not to share, what to keep private and what to share with the public. Do you see that dimension? Because sometimes when you give all of your family on YouTube, now I want to see what is happening with this family today. I come on your page. I'm saying, wow, they had the challenge today. They had this challenge yesterday. They had all of this. Can you see? And some of these challenges challenges that people are doing, it can basically be grieving to Holy Ghost. So for that reason, the Bible says in the book of Micah, the one who is wicked is waiting on the bed all night searching for iniquities. Now you can see if that dance is rooted in witchcraft, you can easily, yeah, that is the point of entry we can use to afflict this family. So many families are under affliction because they what? They basically shared about their family, you know, to everybody. Do you see the beauty of the word of God? Yes, that's why we can't take everything. We don't take things for granted. So in the same manner, yes, it can be something just being, you know, perhaps it's a pe it's people who are ready to get married. And the father is saying, hey, you know, this union that I'm bringing together, I need you to keep it between you, your family, and your spouse. I don't want everybody to know. Oh, then you begin to share. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. You share it with everybody, not realizing that the person that you're probably sharing it with, they don't like you at all. They are smiling with you. They are joyous with you. Oh, you mean, oh my goodness, you are getting Getting married? Wow, that's not. But before you know it, they're basically the ones who is orchestrating all manner of device to stop that from happening. Do you see the beauty of it? Do you see the very dimension of that in itself? This is where you begin to understand, yes, the principle of what? Of the word of God. Just because we call God, we don't have to take him for granted. How many marriages have been lost because we basically put things out on social media? How many marriages or businesses or things have been lost because we put them out on social media? Do you see that in itself? So we have to be careful. Yes. And it is for that reason. I want to speak to somebody called uh, Lucy today. Yeah, Lucy. I, I just really want to bless you because you know, you know why? The Father, in His infinite mercy, is about to restore, yes, the dimension of your union. So the reason for the separation was the Father bringing healing to so many things, yes, all around you. Because the Bible says in the book of Malachi chapter 3, that God hates 
in chapter 2, sorry. God hates divorce. He doesn't like it. But the Lord has basically seen your heart and the purity of your walk with him. He has seen your heart. He has seen the purity of your walk with him. And for that reason, is honoring your union and is going to reconcile it. All hope is not lost because our hope is in Jesus. So the setback might be for a minute, but then the setback was to bring a reconciliation for the fullness of the glory of God to be made manifest. So once again, Lucy, I am going to begin to inspire love in the very heart of your husband. I am going to begin to restore that love. I am going to begin to rekindle that love because God is love. And as I begin, to rekindle this love, you are going to see the manifestation of this reconciliation being made manifest in your life. The Bible declares that the, the, it was, the, it was the, the lost son. I'm sure we are all acquainted with that scripture who basically went away. Then eventually he thought to himself, let me return to my father's house. I was better off in my father's house. And this is what the father is intending to do with your husband. Because you know why? He's going to restore because the father will begin to fan the flames of love once again from his spirit back into his heart. And this is where everything is going to come back into fullness once again. Because like I said, God hates divorce. He has seen your labor of love while you were in that relationship. So for that reason is why the reconciliation is going to be much more glorious than the division in itself. So don't let your heart be troubled because, yeah, that coin which was lost, according to the parable that Jesus spoke in the book of Matthew, the Bible says when the woman found it, she began to rejoice. She was happy that once again she found the coin. Yes, and this is going to be the dimension of your season. You are about to rejoice like no other because that which the enemy tried to steal, to kill, and to destroy, I am here to basically bring life and life abundance abundantly right into it. I bless you, Lucy, with this reconciliation and I just release the justice of the Lord right into it completely. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Not only that in itself, I want to speak to the footballer who, yeah, the footballer, yeah, I believe his name is Kayode Olanrewaju, yeah, Kayode Olanrewaju and the wife called Ezine, yeah, Ezine, uh, uh, I believe it's Ezine Dora, your day as well. I want to speak to you too at the same time. The Father, I just want to release the justice of the Lord right into that union and I bless that union with reconciliation. Every word that has been spoken by the public, by blogs, by all of these people speaking word of death over your union. I take authority over those words. I release the justice of the Lord right into it and I speak reconciliation right into into that in itself. The Lord has begun to build what the enemy tried to steal to kill and to destroy. The Bible says, upon this rock I will build. So because the father is not in favor of divorce, that is why he's building once again. Because at this point in time, it might feel like all love is lost. But no, not at all. It's the healing that is manifesting to bring about a reconciliation in your life. So for that reason, this is why the father is restoring what what the thief came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. What the thief came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am bringing restoration right back into it. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. And the very pastor who's basically there, who is speaking all manner of things, or every form of leadership that has been basically trying to torment this marriage just because of either selfishness or whatever that is. I release the justice of the Lord into the words of authority that has spoken division rather than unity. Yes, into a marriage. Because you know why? Marriage is a covenant to be honored by every person because it was instituted by God. So for that reason, the Bible says, whatever a man joins, whatever God joins together, let no man separate. Let no pastor, let no bishop, let no person separate. Only God can separate what he has joined together. And if he hasn't separated, it, no man should 
them to basically tear it apart. So for that reason, Ezinem and Kayodem and Ola Rewaju, I just speak blessings over this union. I bless this union. I bless, I just, I declare with angels that are all around. I release them into creation, right into where you are. And I speak by the authority in the name of Jesus that your union, once again, I speak to the foundation of it, that the mercy of the Father over every marriage that I've spoken here today, that the mercy of God, the mercy of God will begin to speak over these unions. I bless it with life. I bless it with mercy. And I declare to the glory that is a name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus, I speak reconciliation right into it. The Bible says he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So I reconcile you, oh Lucy, back to the Father. I reconcile Ola Rewaju and Ezinim. I reconcile you both back to the Father and including your husband, Lucy. I reconcile you all back to the Father that the works of the Father may begin to be made manifest completely inside each and every one of you. I bless you because you are the blessedness of the Father. I love you so very much because the Father even loves you so much more. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I rejoice with you because it's about to be a new beginning. And, you know, the same blogs, the same website, the same people who spoke about this separation will be the same people to carry the same news about your reconciliation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So I bless you with this dimension and I thank the Father that it is already done. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you because you're the blessedness of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen.